Great news if you're a Canva user, producing bulk sets of social media graphics on Canva has now got even easier. There's a new update which is rolling out to all Canva users, which now includes spreadsheets inside Canva itself. It's called Canva Sheets and it's quite an interesting update. I'll do a full video on that soon, but the way that I've been using it in the main has been bulk creating graphics uh, without the need to create a CSV file in something like Excel. You can manage your lists directly inside Canva itself. This is really useful for social media graphics with quotes and information that's going to be changing on different images, but also it's good for making certificates for a large group of people you can just change the name um, you can do name badges and other personalized uh, graphics as well this is the pro feature um, and also you'll need to wait for the update to be rolled out to you um, but if you've got it here's how you do it okay so I am in Canva um, what you would do is click on sheet to create a new sheet I've done that already so I just go to my sheet that I've already got active so this is Canva Sheets. It's just basic spreadsheets. Got all the features at the top here. I won't go into those yet. I'll do a video on this later on. But if you just use it like a glorified table, that'll do for now. What's nice about it is um, you can have text and also you can put image information in here as well. So I'm going to be doing some quote social media graphics. I've got a heading of quote and name and image that I want to put onto my, my default social media graphic. So here are my quotes. I've just typed these in. I've put a name here which will go underneath the quote and then I've chosen an image to go in each of these boxes. I've left this one here so I'll show you how I did this one. I'll go to elements. I'm going to search for a teacher. I want pictures of teachers. Um, let's go to photos and see all and let's have um, this chap here. So I'm just going to drag that image and drop it into the box. See it's gone purple there to highlight the box. I'm going to drop that and that image has been put into there. So I've got all my quotes. I've got a sort of second bit of text that goes underneath that, the name of the person doing the talking. Um, and I've got an image to go with the quote just there. I'm going to highlight all of these and I want to remove the background from these images. So I can do that all in one go to these pictures. So I've highlighted my row. I've just clicked and dragged. I'll do it again. Click and drag there. Up the top here I can go to BG Remover. That will remove the background. If I click that, It'll remove the background to all my pictures in one go. There we go. You can see the image being processed there. And we're done. So I've now got uh, my quote, my name, and my image all ready to go. What I then need to do is to get my graphic. Now I've already created that again. I've created that graphic here. So I've already made it. I've given it a name. And I've set it up with a quote, a name, and an image already there. So there's my quote. There's my name. There's my image there. That's ready. If I go back to here. I'm going to go to actions and scroll down to where it says bulk create. Select my data range. So I'm going to highlight all of that information there. So A1 here down to C8. I'm going to continue that. It's then going to ask me which uh, graphic I want to use as my template. Here are all my designs. I can scroll down through this list and find it if I want to, or I can search for a name just there. I know it's down here. So I'm going to click down and click on this one quotes for bulk create. So I click on there. It will add it down here as my second page. So I have a multiple number of pages now, which can all be different sizes and different um, types, different file types, which is quite nice. So I need to now link this information down here, the data fields from my table to the data on my image. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on here. That's my main piece of text. I'm gonna connect the data and I'm gonna connect that to the quote. And you can see that now goes pink, which has been selected. I'm gonna click on the name. I'm gonna connect my data Click that to the name, that's gone pink. If I click on the image and connect the data, you can see the image is now there. That lets me connect the image to my picture. So there's image, there are my three things. I can then click on that and create seven designs. If I click on advanced options first, if you want to, you can choose which folder to save it into. Uh, you can choose how the name goes. So you could use the data as the name or the, the name as a name if you want to say as a file name. Also, I'm going to have seven individual designs, or you could have one design with seven different pages in there, depending on how you like to, to deal with your files. If you wanted to, you could take your one design, and you can still save that as seven different graphics, um, or you've just got seven individual ones. If you're sharing it through the Canva content calendar, you might find that you want each of them to be a separate file. How you do that is up to you, but you've got the choice there to do that. I'm going to go with multiple pages in one design. I'm going to click here on Create Design. And what it'll do, it'll then process through. You can see now I've got my quotes all here have been done. I can then leave this. I'm going to go back to my, my front page of Canva. Here is my bulk create just there. If I open that up, what I'll now see is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
they're not perfectly placed, what you would now do is spend a bit of time just maybe moving the images around a little bit to get them in the correct spot, resize them, tweak them a little bit if you want to make them slightly bigger, you can do that. Oh, that one's gone slightly wrong. Let's just stretch that. If the background thing hasn't quite gone right, you can play around with it a little bit and just stretch it and change it. I might want to move some of these around, maybe make the text a little bigger to fit on the screen. But basic principles, it's put them all in. Again, if the cropping's wrong, you can just sort of change the crop. I'll just grab that little icon just to the side there, which changes the crop rather than actually stretch the size out and you can sort of play around with it a little bit. So I can do a little bit of tweaking just to make it look how I want it to look. But the bulk of it has been done ready for me, which is quite nice. He didn't get his background removed. Again, if you just do that one, you can click BG Remover and it's gone. There we go. You can play around with it. So it's nice and quick to get a load of graphics produced really quickly. Let's say you're doing something with inspirational quotes. You could have the basic template set up and then have a quote um, and who said it in your table. I've just done a, those certificates for um, some students on a, on a course we did. So the certificate was set up in Canva with a space for the name and then I just had the names in a table and it just bulk created one uh, certificate per name. So it's like doing mail merge back in the days of um, using mail merge on Word to do letters and stuff like that. So I hope you found it useful. It's a nice, easy little thing to do in Canva. Check it out. Um, I'll have some more videos on some of the updates in Canva very soon. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Goodbye.